hello students this is the fourth video on valuation of shares uh, till now i have uploaded three videos this is the fourth one in first video i have explained introduction uh, need and importance of valuation of shares at the same time uh, factors influencing the value of share and methods of valuation of shares in the second video i have explained the net assets method that is intrinsic value method and solved problems third video i have explained uh, yield value method and solved problems this is the continuation do watch those videos first before watching this video to better understand better understand so in this video i will take up the long questions solve long problem wherein you will be asked to calculate the value of share under both the method that is net assets as well as yield value method and combination of these two will be fair value method so that's the reason why i kept three names so the videos link will be shared in the i buttons that is first to third video will be shared in the i button as well as in the description box right so before watching this video do watch those videos and understand better so we'll take first question on 31st march 2005 the balance sheet of a limited company disclosed the following position particulars we have given note number and amount this is the new format of balance sheet as per schedule 3 of the companies act 2013 right so we have given equity and liabilities under the shareholders fund share capital note number 1 when you see the note number 1 we have 40000 equity shares of rupees 10 each fully paid 4 lakhs then b is reserves and surplus note number 2 under reserves and surplus we have two reserves one is reserves as well as pnl account two reserves uh, when you come to the non-current liabilities, long-term borrowings 1 lakh, that is 5% debentures, current liabilities 1 lakh 30,000. This is the summation of, uh, this is the entire uh, information of liabilities, the summation is 7 lakh 40,000. This is the liabilities part. When you come to the asset side, uh, we have non-current assets under the fixed asset, tangible asset and intangible assets we have, then current assets we have, the summation of the Assets 7 lakh 40,000. This is the basic information regarding the balance sheet as well as we have studied the notes even. Now adjustments are very important. On 31st March 2005, the fixed assets were independently valued at 3 lakh 50,000 and goodwill 50,000. These are the market values. The net profit for the three years were 2003 56,100, 2004 52,000, 2005 51,650 of which 20% uh, was placed under reserve. In the sense, 20% we will be transferring to reserve. This proportion being considered reasonable in the industry which uh, the company is engaged and where a fair investment return, this is NRR, please bear in mind, fair investment return is NRR, may be taken at 10%. Compute the value of share by net assets method as well as yield value method. Under both the methods, we need to calculate. So, we'll see the solution. First, uh, net assets method we'll take up. Value of share is equals to under net assets method is net assets available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares. Wherein number of equity shares we have already provided in the question that is 40,000 equity shares. If you see the note number 1, 40,000 equity shares is already given. Then whereas we don't know the what we call uh, net assets available to equity shareholders. So, we need to calculate net assets available to equity shareholders. How to calculate? Make a table that is uh, a particular amount. We will take first realizable market value or agreed value of assets other than fictitious assets. Fortunately, we don't have any fictitious asset in this question. So, fixed assets we have given the value is 350000 in the adjustment the market value is given in the adjustment so adjustment value we have to take and goodwill we have to take 50000 the adjustment value next is current asset current asset value is 2 lakhs here please bear in mind current asset we don't have any market value in adjustment therefore we take book value itself as our market value that is 2 lakhs then summation comes to 6 lakhs from this we have to deduct external liabilities when you see this question, we have external liabilities are 5% debentures, that is 1 lakh, as well as we have current liabilities even, that is 1 lakh 30,000. If you deduct both these values, the resultant figure is 3 lakh 70,000, that is called as net assets available to equity shareholders. 
once we get this numerator what we have to do we need to place this 370000 in the main formula as numerator once you divide this 370000 divided by 40000 you will get 9.25 is the intrinsic value of the asset this is the way we need to calculate the value of asset so we will take up the second method we understood already how to calculate intrinsic value now we will take up how to calculate yield value for calculation of yield value of share the formula is expected rate of return that is ERR by NRR into paid up value of share in this question NRR is given in all the questions NRR will be given generally then paid up value is also available that is 10 rupees each share so we need to calculate ERR how to calculate ERR calculation of ERR the formula is expected rate of return is equals to expected profit divided by equity capital into 100 so equity capital is already available in the question that is 4 lakh rupees whereas we don't know the expected profit so we need to calculate expected profit how to calculate expected profit the information is given that for three years profits we have given so average profit i am taking that is 51750 how did i get this value when we make an average 51600 plus 52000 plus 51650 divided by 3 we will get 51750 is the average profit from this profit we have to deduct the amount which we are transferring to general reserve or reserve that is 20 percent given in the question so once you deduct this value you will get resultant figure is 41400 that is the expected profit see the general reserve transferred is 51,750 into 20% we will get 10,350 so once you detect 41,400 is the expected profit then apply this expected profit in the numerator of the formula so 41,400 divided by 4 lakhs into 100 that is 10.35% that is our ERR expected rate of return then apply the farm main uh, apply the ERR in main formula of value of share that is 10.35 by 10 into 10 that is 10.35 so yield value is 10.35 as per the question right so in this way we calculate both the values that is intrinsic value and yield value then sometimes we may be asked to calculate dual value or fair value of the share in that case how to calculate the formula is intrinsic value plus yield value divided by 2 so as we have calculated both the answers so therefore we will apply 9.25 plus 10.35 divided by 2 that is equals to 9.8 is our inter what we call fair value or dual value of the share it is the average of both the values like this we can calculate i will take up one more question uh, in this question we have provided the information uh, this question is right both the methods we have to calculate net assets and interest, uh, yield value right information is share capital reserves and surplus note number one when you see the share capital we have three types of shares one is 10,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each fully paid 10,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each 8 paid and 10,000 shares of rupees 10 each 5 paid right then uh, next information reserves and surplus note number two we have two reserves that is uh, reserve and PNL account. Then we have current lab sorry, trade payables that is external liability 10,000. Then non current assets under that we have fixed asset tangible and other current non current assets under that we have preliminary expenses. Preliminary expenses is one of the fictitious assets. Please bear in mind it should not be considered while calculating the value of share under net assets method. So other current assets we have 1,30,000 then we have further information the normal average profit of the company after tax will be maintained at 46000 so normal profit is 46000 and in nrr is 8% given in the question calculate value of share under both the methods that is asset backing method net assets method intrinsic value one and only same then uh, yield value method clear excluding goodwill goodwill is not provided in the question so we cannot take goodwill even right so we'll start the solution answer for this question value of equity share is equals to under net assets method the formula net assets available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares so number of equity shares already given in the question that is 
30,000. How did I get 30,000? 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. Different categories I have added as all the three are equity. Therefore, I have made I made the summation and kept as a denominator. Right? Uh, then calculation of data sets available to equity shareholders. How to calculate the value? The same way table we have to prepare. That is particulars amount agreed or reasonable or market value of assets. So we have given tangible assets. We have how much is the tangible asset value given is 2 lakh rupees. The same we are taking as we don't have any market value in the question. Therefore, we will take the book value only. Then current assets we have 1 lakh 30 thousand. Right. From this we need to deduct the external liabilities. So external liabilities are how much? 10,000. Right, then resultant figure is uh, 3,20,000. Clear? So, most important here, we did not take preliminary expenses. Please bear in mind as it is a fictitious asset and we have only one external liability that is what? Trade payables that we have deducted. So, resultant figure 3,20,000. Since in this question, we have three types of shares which are differently paid in the sense first category 10,000 paid fully 10,000 is 8 paid up next 10,000 is 5 paid up so whatever balance which is unpaid that should be considered as notional calls so we will add that as notional calls that is 10,000 into 2 we have to receive from the second category shares that is 20,000 third category we have to receive 10,000 into 5 that is 50,000 from the first category, we have received the total amount. So, make the summation 3,90,000. This is called as net assets available to equity shareholders. Whenever you find the shares, equity shares with different called up amount, different paid up amount, then you need to add notional costs. That you bear in mind. Always it will be done. So, this uh, 3,90,000 will be taken as numerator. Uh, so, first it will be called uh, calculated fully paid shares. For fully paid, 3,90,000 divided by... 30,000 the value is 13 whereas rupees 8 paid up next category so once you calculate 13 is the fully paid up value from that value unpaid amount is 2 rupees we have to deduct the resultant figure is 11 rupees right then next category is 5 paid the same way total 13 minus 5 that is fully paid value is 13 minus unpaid amount is 5 the resultant figure is 8 so like this we need to calculate the values of shares which are differ in each case so you see please uh, try to understand if the share is fully paid the value of the share cannot be equal to the partly paid share no that is the basic logic here so like this we can calculate the values of share then next method we have to take up uh, that is uh, yield value method already we have given uh, the information pertaining to that so expected rate of return by normal rate of return to paid up value of share. Expected rate of return is given in the, sorry, expected rate of return we need to calculate, ER, ERR we need to calculate, NRR given in the question that is 8% into paid up value of share is 10, right. Then we need to calculate ERR, how to calculate ERR, expected profit by equity capital into 100. What is our expected profit given in the question 40,000, 46,000 divided by equity capital 2,30,000, right. I made the summation of all the shares that is 2,30,000 right the amount of share capital into 100 we will get how much 20% so here also there are three types of share one is fully paid partly paid and partly paid in this case how to calculate the value of shares for fully paid share that is ERR 20 by uh, NRR 8 then paid up value we should take 10 as it is paid 10 rupees so 25 is the value the second category is uh, 8 paid up how to calculate the value that is 20 rupees divided by 8 rupees into paid up value will change here second category how much paid up value 8 rupees therefore value of share will be 20 rupees the third category is 20 rupees 20 percent divided by 8 percent that is ERR by NRR into paid up value will be 5 therefore the value of share is 12.5 so like this you can calculate the values of share right I hope I have given you good information so, these problems are quite significant as far as the university exams are concerned, right? I will give you two more questions which you can calculate as your homework. So, see this question, you can easily calculate the value of this question, uh, value of the share in this question. This question was asked in 2017 paper of Usmani University. 
and I will share the link of the answer in the I button. Please do solve the problem, then see the answer. Right? I will share the link in the I button as well as in the description box, both the places. Please watch after solving this problem so that you can understand better. Right? One more question I have. So this question also the same way you need to calculate. This was this was also asked in one of the Usman University question papers. Again, I will share the link of this answer also in the I button. Right? Do watch, do solve the problem and then watch that video. Then only you will be in a little bit good position. If you have any doubt, do put it in comment. I, comment, I will be glad to answer. Right? So, I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe my channel, mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative and informative videos. Thank you very much.